Hi everyone. Hello. I know you guys aren't used to me. Um, I don't know. I guess right here in this room. We're in this bathroom, so. I'm cleaning brushes. You guys come talk with me. I'm gonna see if I can set this up a little better. Hi Ashley, how are you? I don't know if I can set it up any better. Hold on. Let me see if I can put it in this little area. Hi, how are you? Forget this little stand. This isn't working. I'm going to set you up right here in that corner. That works. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, my love. <laughs> yeah, hello. So, yeah, I'm cleaning brushes. I'm using this brush cleaner spinny thing. And then I've got water and um, the e.l.f. brush shampoo in here. And all I did was kind of shake it up and stuff. And then you kind of use the uh, tool to clean your brushes. Take my pick with me and my brushes. I got into cleaning. <laughs> You're good, Ashley. Just send it whenever you can. Now, for example, like these mermaid ones, I don't actually use the tool because I can't stick this part in it. So all I'm going to do is like dip it in here. Kind of swish it around. Back and forth in this bowl. And then go in with just a towel and kind of wipe the bristles and stuff off. It's going to be how I clean at least these uh, mermaid ones. The other ones, on the other hand, that can fit in this contraption um, will be able to use. So, I think this is the Real Techniques one. I'm not all the way sure what this is. I forget which brand it is. But it's either Real Techniques or it's the Echo Tools. But I think this is the Real Techniques one. But I'm not all the way sure. So all I do is I'm going, I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I'm going to take it and spin it. Go in the water. Try not to hit the glass thing there. Down. Hold it. And this whole thing like vibrates and everything. And you'll see my brush kind of go like that. How it's spinning. And then I'll click it off. And then I will wipe on a towel to make sure and stuff that all the water's out of it. Which, mostly it usually is. It's just a little bit watery. Hi Amanda, how are you? Look at the Eiffel Tower I want to go visit. Oh, that? Yeah, I got that from Family Dollar. I've had that since... I think we got it immediately, like, when we moved in this house. And now it's, like, this is now dry. So, this is now fully dry. Because of this tool right here. So, to do another brush, let's see. Certain brushes I won't do because, like, for some reason it does, like, a whole thing. But, hi, Caitlin. So, yeah, you guys come chat with me. I'm just cleaning brushes, so. Alright, this will fit. I actually thought that this wouldn't fit. Well, apparently it does. I just have to push it. Oh. Well. Or is this one bigger than the other one? Hold on. Is this bigger? Oh, this one is bigger. Okay, so that's why this one will not fit in it. So again, I'm just going to take this. Kind of dip it. Smack against this a few times. Swirl it to myself. And then dry it off on the towel. Even though it won't be dry till later. The rest of them will mostly be dry. So, But yeah, this uh, e.l.f. brush shampoo, this is actually pretty good. So I really like this. Um, for me, okay, I have the detergent bar and I've showed you guys it before. If you guys are on a budget, need a detergent bar or whatever it is to clean your brushes, 88 cents at Walmart. I love it. I really do. But sometimes I just don't want to use that kind of thing for my brushes. I'm just very skeptical. Um, not really skeptical, but like very precise on what I want to use. So 
All my brushes, I want to try them out, but I don't want to mess them up. You won't mess them up, girl. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They're brushes. They're made for that. Um, they're really, they're durable brushes. They're really, really good. So, um, but what I was saying, so I always watch and stuff what I'm doing with like what I'm using. So I really do love this e.l.f. brush shampoo. This stuff moist, like it just gets in my brushes like really nice. So and this thing looks so weird. I don't care though because it's a really nice spinner. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to press it. We're going to go into the water a few times. I'm going to hold on to it a little tight. Certain brushes sometimes, like, this thing doesn't like certain brushes, so I am careful. We're going to give it a few minutes. And then I'm going to turn it off, and whoo, look at that. Then I'm going to take this whole thing out. So it came with this extra piece and stuff if you have, like, Littler brushes. Ooh, look at that. And I just kind of put it back to where it was. It's nice and dry, though. It's pretty much dry. I love it. Love it. Okay. Let's see if we can clean this one. Probably not, because this one, honestly, it's just been through heck. It's been through heck a lot. All right. Actually, we're not going to put it in that one. We're going to put it just right through it. Yeah, because it'll stay. See what I said? Sometimes this will disagree with brushes. And sometimes it'll agree with them. And yes, this does like, it vibrates like my whole entire hand. But that's okay. Okay. I'm just going to kind of use my hand. This brush has been through heck. Like, it's been through it a lot. And actually, like, I used this old, old brush cleaner that I was using on it for the longest time. And so, it kind of messed up my bristles for a while. So, we'll see if I keep that any longer because I might have to get rid of it later on. Okay. Hi, Avery. How are you? And yes, you guys, I'm still in my pajama shirt. It's because I'm comfy. I don't mind. I'm on Shark Week, so I'm kind of comfy with my pajama shirt. I feel like I'm stirring, like, food or something. Like, I feel like I'm baking or something, but I'm really not. I'm cleaning. Cleaning my brushes. With this tool. And you guys, there are, like, this kind of stuff off of, um, Amazon also. I totally go on Amazon and get them. Like, you could get, like, the actual ones that are connected with, like, the bowls and stuff that you get. Ooh, okay, this one, I know, this one needs cleaned. She is looking super rough. This is the e.l.f. blending brush that I was using today for the, uh, foundation. Oh, yeah, she needs cleaned a lot. These specific brushes and stuff will full blown, like, spread out, like, in a big circle and get dry. So, yeah, this whole thing is shaking my hand, but that's okay. And then press it. And now it's a big old fluff. Look at that. It got like so much of the product out. Oh, you're in bed. That's nice. Oh, are you sick? You're sick in bed? Oh, I'm sorry, Avery. Hope you feel better. Yeah, I'm on Shark Week. I'm on Shark Week, and that's no fun. And yes, I call my period Shark Week. That's what I like using. I don't like using the word period, and I don't know why. 
I've always been that way. I don't like it. I just hate the word. Um, so I honestly, I just say Shark Week because it honestly just makes sense. Because you basically are... Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty clean. It does have, like, this little area and stuff that needs clean, but, again, I'm going to put it back in here a little more. Um, but, yeah, with uh, Shark Week and stuff, I say Shark Week because I honestly act like a shark when I'm in, like, this whole thing, so. Whee! You guys see that water? Oh, yeah, you guys can't really see it, but... It looks so cool from my view here. This whole thing vibrates. It after a while it just sounds like a freaking vibration. It's weird. Okay. Oh yeah, that's much better. So yeah, that's all nice and clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this towel here, I'm going to wipe it some, use my hand a little bit, yeah there's still a little tiny bit right here, but I'm pretty sure that's stained from last time that I haven't like done a deep clean, so we're going to deal with it and leave it there, but super super soft too, that's something I didn't mention, the e.l.f. brush shampoo, this stuff is like super soft on your brushes too. Ooh, okay. This is a this is another test, okay? If you see all that foundation on there. Some won't let me relax. He just wants to move around in my belly. Aw. Ashley. Let's see. Hi Jessica. Okay. So another test one will be this one. So this one has so much foundation on it. We're gonna get it cleaned. Which is very satisfying to me, okay? This is very satisfying to me, is the clean brushes and stuff. It just kind of... Hi, Star! Hello! Nice to meet you! Hello, hello! If anybody's new on here, please put hashtag new, so I know. I am doing this on my profile now. Usually I'm on my glam page, but because I'm not doing makeup related right now, I'm just doing this off my regular. Oh, gosh. I really hope this brush does not fling off. That would be sad and annoying. Hi, Kim. How are you? Yeah, this thing looks and it just feels weird, but. All right. Okay. I'm going to take a towel and wipe all this soap off here. And I'm probably going to dunk it back in again. But, like, you can see it took a lot out of that, so. Alright, we're going to go again. <laughs> Daughter said she wants your shirt. Oh, yeah, my Disney. Disney Mickey shirt. Yeah, I love this shirt so much. I know, it's super cute, isn't it? It actually is a whole matching pajama set. I got it for Christmas. Ooh, not last year, but year before. So annoying. I don't know why some, like, I don't know. I think it's because they're so light. Some of the brushes that are super, super lightweight, like, make this thing want to, like, shake so much. Okay. Now let's try and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Hold on. Way better. Look at that. Look how white all the sides are. That's nice. Hi, Nicole. So, yeah. Love this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You haven't noticed? I have a lot of brushes. Really do. A lot of Walmart ones. I have a lot of different ones. If you guys have specific brushes you were wanting and stuff like that, 
or want to know what the best and stuff like that or what ones I have and stuff just comment below just so I know because if you're not interested in it, I won't tell you <laughs> but hope you guys are I knew that was going to happen because I smacked it um hope you guys are having a fantastic day by the way you have noticed I did take off my makeup. I already did that earlier. I only do that after a while, especially like if I don't go anywhere. I'm like, eh, I don't want makeup on all day. And I'm like, nah, no thank you. So. I just realized my forehead is like super looking nice because I used my drunk elephant cleanser thing again. I used my um, charcoal, not charcoal, the charcoal. I think it's charcoal, whatever it is. Um, the I can't think of it. The charcoal cleanser, whatever it is, off pharmacy. I did use that today too. I used that right after I did my makeup. Or right after right after I got my makeup off. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Okay. But yeah, a few of you were asking and stuff like that of what I was using, so I figured I'll just sit here and I would uh, show you guys what I'm using to clean my brushes. And what I didn't mention was the price. So, the e.l.f. brush shampoo thing you will find at Walmart. And it's for like, I think it's like $3 or something. Something like that. $2 or $3. I think it's $3. But I think the rest of these are pretty much clean, except for, I know this one's not. I don't know if this one, will, oh yes it will, it will go right there. Hi Ania, how are you? Okay. Let's see if this one works well. Okay. This is one of those brushes that like, is going to be weird. Oh my gosh. Not again. This always happens sometimes. Okay. Now if you can hear Ray, I apologize. By the way, nobody tell me anything about The Bachelor last night. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to though. Where'd you get the brush cleaner? Walmart. Got it from Walmart. It's the e.l.f. brush shampoo. Pretty sure it's at um, Sephora too, but I know it's at Walmart. It's the brush shampoo e.l.f. E.l.f. brush shampoo. I love it. I love using it. Hi, Mandy. I just like really like it because honestly, I've told you guys before, like I love the 88 cents like detergent bar that I used, but like this just makes them like super super soft and everything walmart also walmart it's uh i think this one is the real techniques one i'm not sure there's a real techniques and i know there's like an echo tools so um uh, but you can get them also off amazon and stuff but yeah walmart has this one i got it in the makeup set or makeup brush section of walmart because they have a brush area and stuff like that. It shows all kinds of different brushes. That's where um, it was. It was like over with the rest of the um, brush cleaning stuff or whatever too. You're welcome, Ania. It's nice. Like I said, just got to be careful on what brushes sometimes too. Because sometimes it'll act up and it'll go nuts or whatever. And you also want to make sure you have a grip on it. Because apparently this thing has like the feel of it or something with it if you grip it and stuff it'll stay in place for the brushes to spin i've noticed that okay this one needs cleaned 
And that's funny because this is an elf brush. See, you're not going to behave again. Hi, Lisa. How are you? And there. No more. Actually, I think the rest of these are pretty much clean. Hold on. Um, it looks like most of the rest of them are clean. Other than I know this one's not. But again, I have like two of these brushes I'm probably gonna have to get rid of soon. Yeah, it looks like all the rest of them are clean, so. I am done cleaning brushes. See how filthy that is? Oh my gosh. It was it was clear and now it's not. So. And I'm just going to nicely drain the water by just pouring it into the sink. And then the bubbles go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing is this stuff create full-blown bubbles so you always have like bubbles at the end and you want to just pour it until you get all the bubbles out of whatever you're using so that means it's all out and technically it is all out now this is just on the outside and I'm just gonna take my tail and I'm going to stick it into the jar and dry it. Um, something you guys need to know though, when you are drying, when you have brushes sitting um, in a spot to get all cleaned up and everything, make sure that your brushes are either leaning sideways on something or make sure they are facing down. If you face them up, the water will get in your bristles and they'll ruin your brushes. So you don't want to have your brushes down. I have all mine right now, or not up, oh my gosh. You don't want them up with the bristles up. You want them, you want the bristles down or you want to lay your brush like this. Especially double side brushes, you want to make sure you lay them flat. Um, Cause if you lean them up with the bristles and everything, it'll get in between here all the bristles and it'll get in between the um, handle and it will get all these bristles and they'll all come out and it'll ruin your brushes so just a little warning for you to tell you because a lot of people think that you should have the bristles up but that's actually not true because you don't want the water or the cleaning solution get in to these bristles because then it'll ruin it'll take all that glue out of your bristles and um your want or the handle and stuff it'll take the bristles everything it'll come out and stuff and it'll ruin your brushes so make sure you are cleaning your brushes correctly see this is a real technique brush look how nice and clean that is it's fully white right there love it then I have a few brushes in here too that are like a little gray color and stuff. That's how they were. So there's also that. And then some that are like, this one is full on white and there's no product in it now. This is the highlight brush too. This is my favorite highlight brush. Favorite highlight brush right here is the, I don't even think they make these anymore, but um, this was an exclusive. It was in the Dragon Collection. And this is the Wet n Wild P77. And this is my highlight brush. I love this as a highlighter brush. And then I have, you guys saw the other one. And the other one is this other Wet n Wild one, which is also in the Dragon Collection. And this one is P53. And this is like a bronzer. Um, this is a powder brush or whatever it was. I was using more like bronzer, but I think it's like the powder brush. So it's really, really nice. I love it. 
Um, I don't recommend these e.l.f. brushes, and the whole reason I don't recommend this kind, the black handled ones, is because all of this, look at this, okay? All I have to do is pull just a tiny bit. There is little hairs, if you can even see that, um, comes right out of the bristles, which is kind of really, really bad, so not a good thing. Can also make the inside into a nasty mold. Yeah, that's that too. That's true. Thank you, Mandy. Um, let's see. Then these are the marble ones that I have. They're marble. They're pretty. Got them off Wish. Love them. Like I said, one of my favorite brushes is the Kabuki brush. And I got that from Wish also. This is the Kabuki brush, and it's from Wish. It's really good, honestly. They did, like, a good job in it, so. Yeah, this needs extra clean somewhat, too. But it's okay. I might have to lay that one into the actual solution and stuff and leave it overnight to clean it. But that's okay. And then, you guys ask me all the time about the mermaid ones, which I've told you guys before, which I'll tell you again. Uh, these ones are from Walmart. They were in the holiday collection, or in the holiday collection brushes. And you always want to, when it's Christmas time, always want to go look at the holiday collection brushes. Because they have the gorgeous... And they're like $9.88 or um, sometimes they'll do like the 1988 ones. These were the 1988 ones because they're the big packs. I don't like any e.l.f. brushes. The brush part falls off onto my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't had that, but I've had like the bristles and stuff just come out of it in general. So, just not on my face, though. I don't think I've had that, so... And then Real Techniques brushes are one of my favorites. I love them. And then this also, people ask about this one, the Ombres. This is also a brush set, which by the way, they were here. They were at Walmart this year. Um, this brush set and stuff. I think they're there almost every year or so. They had these and they had some other ones. They had some purple sets and different things. And then you guys asked me, where's that? There's another brush that people ask me about. It's another, oh, here it is. It's the unicorn, the unicorn handle ones. These, those are from Dollar Tree. If your Dollar Tree has them, you might want to just snag them, grab a whole set of them. That, and then... These are the Wet n Wild ones. I just put sticker over it because it was cute. Um, but these are the Wet n Wild ones. They're also at Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has even more of them. And like, like you can't go wrong at Dollar Tree, honestly. You cannot with that. Ouch. I need to put this up, so. And I just put this back in here and just kind of let it sit. And then I put it in my, uh roll whatever thing that turns or whatever my turning carousel thing so um oh my gosh this one is really badly dirty i just noticed that it's not too bad though it'd be all right but um yeah and then this one was from dollar tree too and this one's a pretty unicorn one Tell me which has 120 pieces brush set. I have not looked. Yeah, they do. They do have some of those. Um, some of their brush sets, you always want to look. So, the thing with Wish is I always tell people, if you get off and get anything off Wish, you want to go to the reviews, go check on the reviews, see what people are saying. And then also, a lot of times, people will actually post pictures. Every time I order anything off Wish, which I think I even took a picture, like, when I got the marble set. I think I did that. But, um, I always, anytime I order anything off Wish, I make sure that I do a review 
And I usually post um, videos or I post pictures and stuff like that of like the products and what they look like. That kind of thing. Because I love showing people and stuff like that of what they're getting. Because, you know, you never know and stuff. Because it's all the way from like a warehouse and stuff. So, but yeah, that's what I tell people all the time is if you get anything off Wish and stuff, make sure you look at reviews and see if there's any pictures or videos and stuff. Because most of the time, if there's reviews and there's pictures and stuff like that, they'll show you and they'll tell you different things. So, um, yeah. Wish is honestly, I like Wish. Um, Wish is, they have a warehouse and everything. And I want to show you guys something. Hold on. One second. One second, you guys. Give me one second. Because I want to get the things out real quick. And show you. Oh. Because it's up here. Hold on. So, number one, I've got, like, a top from Wish. Um, I had, like, a tank top from Wish. And loved it. I've got a jacket from Wish. You guys have seen, like, that flower jacket that I have. That was from Wish. Um, if anyone wants me to send links or anything like that, I can do that. Um, this bracelet that says his beauty on it. Super, super cute. I love it, and it's super small and stuff like that. Like, um, I could actually make it smaller, but, like, I just left it like this because I wasn't wearing it at that time. But, yeah, I got that off Wish. I got technically this ring that says his queen on it. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Hold on. Let me turn on my brightness a little bit and see if you guys will be able to see it. Oh, uh, come on, focus. It's not going to focus. So, it says his queen on it. I love this. I wear that, like, all the time. Um, and then the other one I wear all the time is this one. It's got, it's blue here, and it's got a black heart here. It actually matches my husband's ring. Um, these are my brand new ones I just got in today, which actually, they're so pretty. So, I ordered one of them, but I got a free one. They sent me a free one. So, they, this is the free one that they sent me. And it has, like, a little feather and stuff. It's super cute. That was the free one they sent me with the purchase of this Pokemon ring that I'm, like, it's so pretty. It really is. I don't know if I can get it to focus or not. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yeah. That one I did get off wash and stuff like that. And they're really nice. So, and they also, like, have, like, this one that I have on my finger right now. The silver one. This. I've been using that as, like, my ring for now. But, um. That one specifically is actually sterling. Like, this one is, like, steel. And then my husband has rings and stuff, too. Um, I got him, like, the blue band to match this one. It's a black and blue band. It's got, like, blue in the middle and black, like, this uh, slate gray looking color. It's not exactly black, but it's, like, slate gray color um, for the band. I got him and the matching one. And then this one, it says, um, I think it says Her King on the other one. And it matches, you know, mine. So, I got a matching set when I bought them. Yeah, I know. They're all so, so pretty. I love them. This bracelet, I thought, it was, like, it's very, very, like, simple, cute, and dangly, whatever. Um, I love these. And these are, like, ID bracelet kind of. The way this is. So, I think that's cute. And, like I said, I just showed you guys, like, a few brushes and stuff I got off Wish. I get, like, tons of different things off Wish. I really do. Um, I get, like, other stuff, too. So, I've gotten, like I said, a camo tank top from it. 
and I got a flower jacket and stuff. And I love that flower jacket. I actually just now got it out of the bag again because um can't wait for it to be start to be summer warm and stuff like that so I can wear it again. So but yeah, I got that jacket and stuff like that, which I absolutely love. That was one of like the best buys that I've done. My brother, on the other hand, he bought this. So this is a sword. It's obviously, you know, it's not like a real sword or anything. It's fake. Um, but it is sharp. It really is. It's like a nice little sharp, whatever. It's a sword from Sword Art Online, which is an anime show that me and my brother are obsessed with. Um, we love like the first one and stuff like that. We love our those ones so he actually this one if you know anything about sword art online then you know asuna or asuna however you say it um her sword is this one and like i love her so he gave me this for christmas and stuff he gave it to me while we were there so i got to bring these home and love it it is um just a keychain so and then I kind of, it's funny because I got, like, everyone else in the house and stuff, like, addicted to Wish. So I got, like, my brother-in-law is addicted to Wish. Um, I got my father-in-law addicted to Wish. And then my husband is somewhat addicted to Wish already, too, which I already got him addicted also. Way before that. So... Yeah, Wish is a fun thing, and like I said, you just gotta watch the reviews and see if anybody posts pictures and videos, so. But I hope you guys have a great night, yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night, enjoy your night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more makeup. Bye!